Wheelchair Travel, Ontario to Nova Scotia by Train, Wheel Family Adventures by Accessibility. In the summer of 2019, my family and I traveled from Barrie, Ontario to Nova Scotia and back. This is the story of our adventure. Barrie to Toronto, two and a half out of five stars, passable. We traveled by go bus. The accessible lift on the side of the coach worked and it was operated competently and professionally by the driver. However, they waited until departure time to begin the loading process, thus causing the bus to be late. Also, I was strapped into the securements improperly, so my wheelchair kept tilting partway back every time the bus stopped. Traveling on public transit, these sort of challenges are pretty much par for the course. Toronto to Montreal, two and a half out of five stars, passable. We traveled economy on via rail from Toronto to Montreal. There are accessible options for rail travel on these trains. However, the ones available would have kept me separate from the rest of my family. The neat thing about some via rail coaches is that you can get little pods of four seats facing each other, which is great when you are traveling in a unit of four like my family. I love my husband and felt it would be cruel to abandon him with the kids to relax by myself at the end of the coach. As I used a cane, my husband carried my wheelchair onto the train and stowed it in a luggage space right next to our seats, which were located very close to the doors. A wheelchair cannot fit down the aisle of these trains. At the layover in Toronto, we got to visit the lounge and the kids were given goodie bags. We proceeded to spill the contents of them as well as chips and snacks all over the place. I am so sorry, Via Rail. We really did try to tidy up. Layover in Montreal. When we arrived in Montreal, I was delighted to find that a lift was not required to remove me from the train. I was able to roll directly onto the platform. It was universal design at its best. My delight was short-lived, however. As it turns out, Montreal hasn't invented elevators yet, so we got to enjoy this journey to get from track level to the concourse. It was very, very slow. This is so that everyone in the station has the opportunity to stare at you. We enjoyed some McDonald's in the dingy hallways in Montreal before boarding the train for the final stretch of our journey. Montreal to Halifax. 3.5 out of 5 stars. This was luxury. We opted to travel in Sleeper Plus for the overnight portion of our journey. We experienced attentive staff and beautiful accommodations. Well, I did. We booked two cabins, an accessible cabin for my daughter and I and a normal one for the guys. David found his quarters more than a little cramped. My husband is a large man and he shot this video to show me how he couldn't use the facilities in his room with the door closed. He also shot this video to show all of you the space in my cabin. It was very adequate for my needs and would have fit a power chair easily. Although not shown and not used, there were tie-downs available in the closet next to the sink should you wish to secure your wheelchair. The reason I gave this portion of the trip a 3.5 stars out of 5 was because there was very little beyond my own cabin that was accessible. The rest of the family got to enjoy the dining car, the snack or lounge car, and the observation car, but none of these places were wheelchair accessible and I was embarrassed to ask for the special aisle chair and too nervous to use my cane on such a bumpy ride. However, my room was so much more awesome than everyone else's and I received all my meals in my room with very attentive service. I really couldn't complain too much. Arrival in Halifax The platform in Halifax, like Toronto, was not level to the doors of the train. We had to wait for a lift to detrain. The lift used by Via Rail is a completely mechanical one that is rolled out to the train and operated by hand. It worked. After some lovely time in Halifax, which by the way boasts a plethora of very accessible playgrounds complete with rubber rock, including one directly across from the train station, our adventures were over and it was time to repeat the process in reverse. The only difference was that we took my absolutely favorite form of public transit home. However, I'll let you enjoy the rest of this lift video and then we will begin 
the next adventure. Toronto to Barrie. My absolute favorite form of public transit is the commuter go train. With reasonably equitable access, a large accessible washroom, reasonably easy to use tie downs, friendly staff, lots of maneuvering space, and places for families and wheelchair users to eat pizza together, as well as an affordable price tag, I'm not sure that it can be beat. Please note, eating pizza may or may not be allowed or encouraged on the train. And that's a wrap for this episode of Hacksessibility. Please let me know in the, contents, uh, in the comments of any adventures you may have had and the different things you do to get through. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.